it's me Harley back it's again for yet another video and today I am going to be talking about my first experience with my home city's comic-con as you may be aware on Saturday I went to Leicester comic-con and I'm going to be telling you my experience about it before I begin however I'm going to apologize for not uploading this on Tuesday on Tuesday I had a pretty big exam and by the time I was finished with it, I was destroyed. I was knackered, I was shaky, I was feeling sick. One of the strange things that happened was I went to bed at 7 p.m., which is basically unheard of for me, and slept all the way through until 3 p.m. the next day. So, yeah, that gives you a brief hint as to how exhausted I was afterwards. <laughs> So that's why I'm uploading on a Thursday instead. So on to Comic-Con. If I was going to a Comic-Con for the first time and had never ever been to one before, I probably wouldn't advise going to Leicester's. I'd advise to go to a bigger one like London or Birmingham, something MCM. And the reason why is because personally I found Leicester Comic-Con was only really suitable to people who had been in the geek community for a while. People who were there to interact with fellow geeks and socialise rather than going there to shop. With bigger comic cons like London and Birmingham, even if you've never been to a comic con before, you can still go shopping, get a feel for the kind of like ambiance of a place, understand what comic cons are like. And you don't have to go with friends. When you go to a big, big comic con, you can quite happily go by yourself and enjoy the whole range of stuff. However, with Leicester, though there were a lot of stalls packed into a small place, because Leicester hasn't got very big venues, I did find that there was a tendency for everything to be very similar. There were three things in particular that, if you wanted, there were plenty of. One, prints. Little diagrams and drawings and paintings of your favourite characters. There were bucket loads of them. And I'm not complaining. I love my prints. However, I have run out of space to put anything, really. I have kept vague, tiny little areas for the really important stuff. For instance, I've got a picture of my dog and my pony and my kitten on my wall. I haven't got one of my cat yet. That's going to happen next month. So I'm prioritising that space to my beloved animal rather than a print of a character. The second thing there was a lot of at the Comic Cons were badges. So many badges. Now, it doesn't matter what Comic Con you go to. You're pretty much guaranteed to find quite a lot of badges but oh my god I swear if you combined all the badges in that room together and put it on top of a human being they would suffocate from the weight of these badges and the worst thing is I don't think I'm exaggerating that much the third and final thing you could buy in absolute abundance was pop figurines I have mentioned in other videos that I don't mind pop figurines. I like them. I don't go out and buy them myself, but people have bought me them in the past. And they're ones that really suit my personality and people know I like those characters. So I really, really like them. However, there becomes a limit. When you can make a stronghold, a fort, a castle, out of pop figurines, you know there's a lot of pop figurines. There were about 30 action figurines. All the rest were pop figurines and it was, oh my god, it was mental. So unless you want those three very specific things, there wasn't really anything to buy there, if I'm entirely honest. In fact, it's the first ever Comic-Con I have ever been to and I've not bought a single thing. I'm a shopaholic. You don't know how big of a deal that is. If there's shopping involved, the likelihood is I will spend money. And the fact that I came home with nothing is a blooming. 
Roman miracle. The other issue I have with the Comic Con was the overwhelming heat. One of the things that I'm potentially being diagnosed for explains one of the reasons why I have such a negative reaction when it comes to heat. I don't deal with hot weather well. I am a winter baby, I was born in December, I like the cold and I would much rather be a couple of degrees too cold than a couple of degrees too hot. In fact, I'm a couple of degrees too hot at the moment and I am absolutely hating it. I was not in a over the top cosplay. I was not in some of the like mecha suits I saw or really really big puffy like Lolita dresses or anything super OTT. I was in a normal black dress and the reason why I went in a very simple cosplay is because later on that evening I was going ghost hunting and I didn't exactly want to be going around a ghost hunting trip trying to find ghosts dressed up as, I don't know, Historia like I did when I went to my first ever Comic Con. I don't want to be going around in Attack on Titan boots and straps or I don't want to go around with some kind of kill or kill outfit, not that you'd ever see me caught dead in a costume like that because it's way too revealing, but you get my... I needed to get into a cosplay that could quite easily blend into everyday life, so I went as Misa Amane from Death Note. I am not saying Leicester Comic Con is bad. Far from it. I think for the size of the venue, for the experience itself, it is actually really good price. If you are going with friends, people who you can geek out and talk to for hours about these things, it will be a highly enjoyable experience. And I did enjoy the Comic Con. It was nice seeing fellow geeks swarm together to take on the world. I wouldn't change that. My only advice is if you are going for your first ever Comic Con and you're not going with friends and you're not going to have somebody to fangirl with, it's probably not the best place to start your geeky Comic Con journey. Do I think I'll be going to Leicester Comic Con next year? If I've got nothing on? Yeah, sure, why not? Hopefully I'll be able to meet up with a few of my geeky friends as well. So that's my opinion on Leicester Comic Con. So I'll wrap this up. When I say goodbye, you'll see a few small clip videos of my experience. And on that note, I'll say toodle pipple beans. Just walking in the vein to Comic Con. <laughs> Ooh, Lush has some nice bath bombs at the moment. Hello. <laughs> Hmm. Oh, I still can't get over my blue contacts though. It feels weird. Well, not feels weird, but it just feels weird to see myself with blue eyes. It <gasps> this shop oh, all masks. This shop always smells so intoxicating. That's nice. <sighs> I am too. Don't worry, I'm scary under the mask. Oh yes. Oh, some people. Oh, some people. 
people getting spray painted. Ooh. Yeah. Brilliant. Mum, how have you gone through life without seeing a green guinea pig? That's my question. Oh my gosh. It's so hot. <laughs> it's so hot, even the fans feel hot. Cupcakes. <laughs> 